Hey, Greg. Hey, Jeff. So glad you could meet today. A little bit about me. I'm a real estate agent in Fort Bend County in the Houston area, Southwest primarily. What do you do? I'm a mortgage banker. I've been in the mortgage banking industry for the last 15 years and in the financial services business for the last 40. Fantastic. So it's summertime here. <clears throat> what do you do in the summertime for fun? You go on vacation yet? Yeah, I go to the beach. Been yet this year? Oh, yeah. Try to we, go every weekend. We, uh, we went to the beach in Pensacola. You ever been to the White Sands? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Hey, listen, the other day you mentioned to me uh, uh, something about down payment assistant programs, and, and uh, I need to know more about that. So I thought we'd uh, make a little video and talk about it a little bit. Sure. What do you mean by <clears throat> down payment assistance? Do some people, can some people buy a house and uh, use some assistance to come up with a portion of their down payment? Down payment assistance programs, there's several available. Um, the greatness about them is, is that you only have to have a 620 FICO to qualify for them. Um, <clears throat> these loans, are the, the loans that you get for the down payment are typically forgivable and you don't have to pay them back. Nice. All right. Now, they come in different shapes and sizes. They come with an FHA, a VA, or a USDA loan. Okay. And people say, well, with the USDA loan, we don't have any closing costs. Yes, you do. You will have closing costs because you will have taxes and homeowners insurance. Right. Same thing with a VA loan. But <clears throat> we can get 3%, 4%, 5%, 6% of the loan amount is available. And like I said, all it takes is a 620 FICO. Um, these programs were generated to help people that the biggest problem we have right now in the marketplace for first-time home buyers, they do not have enough funds to buy a house. These programs are available. You have to know which ones there are. There, there are different programs. One of the biggest hurdles could be is you have income limitations. You can only make so much money. Hence the word down payment assistance. They want these to be used for people who need assistance and we can help them get into a home. So we're talking about situations where uh, their credit isn't horrible, um, but they may not make enough money to have saved enough for a down payment. That's what, that's what we're talking right. about. Right. I mean, for example, if we have a $200,000 loan, if we get them 6% um, that you can use for both down payment and for closing costs, that would give them $12,000 to play with. The great thing about that is, is these people just, it's hard to save that kind of money. With, the, with the, what it costs for rent right now, I mean, it's hard. They're paying, typically in the nation, they're paying 45% of their total income for housing expenses. Sure. That's renting. And That's you, not owning. You mentioned that uh, in some cases, these amounts don't have to be repaid. Right. Typically, what they are is are forgivable loans. And, and most, the most way they're set, the, the, most prevalent way they're set up. So it works for a benefit. Typically you need to be in the house for five years. If you're not in the house for five years, they will prorate it per month. So if we gave you $10,000, okay, and you sell your house after three years, <clears throat> you will have been in the house for 36 months. Basically you would be, in, you're gonna be in the house for 60% of the time. So you will have to repay 24 months of the down payment assistance program. And you can do that, I suppose, with funds at closing. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Well, <clears throat> fantastic, Greg. I'm Jeff and you? I'm Greg. And we appreciate y'all tuning in to us today. And tune us in again. We're going to have other topics like this in the future. Y'all have a good day.